The next two days, so Thursday, Friday, will obviously be very warm across uh, Victoria. It's interesting to see that the temperatures in Melbourne are expected to be 29, 30 degrees at midnight, so we're, we're in for a hot night. But coupled with that is the wind change will be uh, also delayed and be during the night. Last week we saw that happen and uh, had significant fires running in the early hours of the morning uh, and also caused um, significant destruction at six o'clock. So as people are getting up in the morning, here's fires running that cause uh, significant destruction. That's something we need to be focused on and I think it's something we need to think about for the rest of the summer, that uh, it's not just an afternoon of fire, it's not an early evening about fire, it's actually uh, what it can do in uh, the abnormal times that people don't think about fire. So that's a, I think that's a key message to take away. Um, think about where you are, think about the, the environment, think about a fire that's unpredictable, um, intense and what it can do to you. So you need to have a plan, you need to think about what you're doing. We say it all the time, but it's critical to get uh, into that environmental understanding of where you are and what fire can do. And also think about the, the Australia Day long weekend. Everyone wants to travel and have a good time. It's milder conditions over the, over the weekend, but we've still got fires in some areas. Be conscious of that. Think about it. Um, plan yourself for what the weekend means. Enjoy what Victoria offers, but make sure you understand where the fires are and where you'll be in, uh, in relationship to those fires. So the key thing is Thursday, Friday, uh, enjoy Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but be fire conscious the whole period.